We're back once again for SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. Let's uh, get right into it with the messages. Let's clean house tonight. Word in the locker room is that you're not seriously injured, so that means you've got no reason not to work with me to get rid of ECW. I'd rather fight against you than with you, but it's obvious that that's not going to happen until we take care of ECW. I suppose it won't happen, but I've already taken care of you one-on-one, -on -one, so I mean... What's the deal with you thinking you're going to get another shot? Exactly, as the song said, makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, once again, it's a repeat storyline, which means it's a repeat WWE magazine, so there's no point in reading it, wasting three or so minutes at the time, two minutes at time. But I will go right into skill improvement and do endurance training. So I can get back more fatigue after my whole uh, shenanigans injury. I mean, the things... Oh, it's down, actually. So never mind that. I'm going to go right in and do training exercises. I'm going to do some durability. Simulate the training. I'm going to do strength, too. Quite a bit of strength is very important as well. So I'm going to do that. Simulate the training. Of course. I mean, there's been a couple of times when I haven't simulated the training, but for the most part, simulating the training is the only way to go because they just not they're not fun to play. Some of them are easy, like the the strength one is actually very easy, and so is the charisma one. But anyway, what is this now? We got to throw down. You've gotten us into quite a mess here, but I'm gonna let I'm not gonna let Raw back down. I'm gonna make a very public challenge GCW that I know Dreamer's ego won't let him ignore. You'd better be as healthy as you say you are because I'm gonna it's going to get brutal. Extremely brutal. Okay. Once again, another repeat magazine that there's no point in wasting two or so minutes reading. Actually I wanna actually it doesn't matter right now what my fatigue level is at, because I don't get to do another exercise anyway. Oh my god, there's a lot of magazines during this one. Oh more mess three messages. Don't get hurt. You're going to get this thing done with the thing with ECW easy wow I can't speak today sorry about this you're we're going to get this thing with ECW done right but I need to know that you're still careful out there even though the match is all set your number one contender match with Orton may have been ruined but I still plan on announcing him as the number one contender after your hardcore tag team match with ECW I can't afford to have either of my top superstars injured before SummerSlam doesn't matter if you set him as number one contender because he's not number one contender <clears throat> I'm not. Trust me. Carry me through the match. Oh fuck you, Orton. Oh no, actually you're not, Orton. It's a triple threat match at SummerSlam, like I've said before, between me, Triple, oh, wow, Triple H, me, Batista, and Bobby Lashley. I'll admit it. You rang my bell a couple of time uh, a couple of weeks ago. It was actually last week because I took you out in that match as well, and then the week before in the tables match, but. I'm going to be responsible for getting you stretched out of the arena last week. Remember that. Um, technically, you're not. Technically, that'd be Randy Orton because I faced him and then I just collapsed after the match. You kind of attacked me pre-match, but that doesn't... Because I would have... Yeah, it just doesn't... That You didn't get me stretched out of there. Yeah, Raw is in, the, in ECW's league and you're going to find that out the hard way this week. Hmm. I've already beaten you and I've beaten every motherfucker from there. Once again, there's no point in me reading this as I've already read it before in a previous video. As I'm going to say it again, this is a repeat storyline. But let me go to Raw. No new messages? Alright, I can get right into Raw then. Hardcore Tornado Tag. Well, this should be an easy match. It's hardcore, so I can just beat the... Right, just beat their asses, beat their ass, beat their ass with weapons. We are just. Did he? We are. We are just. I just. I think he was even going to say seven or six weeks, because I heard the S part from SummerSlam. That's not just. That's not something that you say. We're just. That's quite a long ways away still, Ross. That's a long. Now let me tell you something, there, sucker. You ain't gonna be saying to Jim Ross that that's a long week. That ain't that long. That's only like, you know, in Booker T time, that can only be a couple of hours when I'm all, you know, 
hocked up on that cocaine that I sometimes store in my free time. You know, because you just got to do something funny because you fancy that you got coke. And look at that homicidal, suicidal maniac. That is Sabu. The genocidal and death defying. He's jumping off chairs. He's breaking people's necks. Actually, he's done a, 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 a broken neck before, but he hasn't done none like that. Yeah, breaking necks and jumping off barbed wire through ladders and tables and making all sorts of little funky noises in the ring because he's all in pain, bleeding, and scarred up body over there. He's just all sorts of extreme, and I don't want to be messing with him. He's bald now, though. He looks funny when he's bald. He just has, like, a bald, shiny head. Booker T's never gonna go bald, I tell you that. Booker T would rather die before he goes bald, because Booker T ain't gonna look right with a bald head. He's just gonna look like like a fool. That's what I'm gonna tell you. Booker T will look like a fool when he's bald. Oh, my. It's that beer-drinking son of a bitch. It's Sam, man. He thinks he's all big and bad, but he's addicted to meth. Yeah, he's addicted to all that cocaine. He's snorting the cocaine out of fucking... He, he's just sucking, uh, just snorting cocaine out of Francine's ass in the back there. I saw it back in ECW days. I was there one time on business meeting, and I saw him snorting cocaine out of Francine's ass. And actually, he snorted cocaine out of Shane Douglas's ass once. That was just some wild shit right there. I don't even know what was going on. Kurt Angle told me about that one. But this guy has his Singapore cane. Shit's getting crazy up in here right now. You don't even know. Because I'm the five time. Five time. Duh, you see. Duh, you champion. Where's my big homie? That ain't my big homie. Hey. Hey. Nothing you can say. Nothing's gonna change that. Sam man's addicted to meth. Well, if the champ doesn't make it to SummerSlam, who knows what will happen with the title? This partnership is in his best interest. Nothing you can say. Nothing's gonna change that. I'm five times the WC dub. Be a champion. That's all I gotta say about that right there. Five times is how many times I've held that belt. Shaka. Oh, that boy right there. He has been that WWE champion for over a year. He's gonna keep that thing for a long time. Ask Booker T and he'll tell you. <coughs> oh, I need a sip of uh, something to drink here. That Booker T voice will really do a number on your throat. Let me tell you that. But yeah, let me know. Let me know if you want to hear more Booker T voice, because I can definitely do it more in the future. Oh, I missed. I actually almost connected on the ref. Bam. It's a hardcore match. Oh, um, let me get you to the outside, Sandman. Oh, I think he was heading out there himself. Nope. Uh, let me. I want to get to the outside with you, Sandman. I want to get out there. All right, fine. I'll, let's both go. No, don't get back in there, Sandman. Out here, Sandman. Out here. Out here, Sandman. Here we go. Over the barricade. I mean, the only reason I'm actually going over here is so I don't have to worry about. Uh, Sabu breaking up any sort of pinfalls that I attempt to do to Sandman throughout this match. I'll just be able to do the pinfalls and not have to worry about. Oh! God damn you! All right, fine. I'll just beat your ass right here. I don't need to bring you out there. Oh, my legs are still too weak. When are my legs gonna stop being so fucking injured? Oh no! No! Orton! Orton! Orton, I need help! Orton! Orton! Orton, you know- Oh, alright. I got out of that one pretty quick. I was shaking the stick furious. You probably could hear the stick shaking. I was just shaking that thing like it was- like my life depended on it. 
And technically, my in-game life did depend on it. Huge DDT. Execution time. Execution time. Big execution. I don't think he's done yet, though. One. Two. Oh, yeah, like I said, I don't think that one was done yet, and it wasn't. Oh, Orton going for some big elbow type thing it looked like to the head. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 don't, don't trip me. What are you doing, Sandman? You're just standing there like an ignoramus. What's going on? I don't even know what's going on. Oh, my God. Stop doing the camera cuts. Thank you so much, Orton. I almost have a finisher, and, you know, I would love to kind of pin Sandman. Now I got to wait for the ref to get up. Because the ref is going to stay down forever, you know, even though he was hardly hit. You know, because you know how when ref bumps, they stay down for years. Oh, we got a duel of sledgehammers in the ring there. Randy Orton took advantage, though, with them dueling, with those dueling sledgehammers. Well, one, two, three. And I picked up the victory on that one. So, Orton, who carried the team in this one? While you were in there playing sledgehammer, like fucking dueling sledgehammers, I was outside of the ring taking care of Sandman. So don't tell me you're going to carry the fucking match. And you carry, carry me in this one, okay? Hey, get out of here, you fucking hooligans. Get the fuck out of here. I'd hope so, but it's not. Get your damn name out of the way. Why'd you have to put in front of the subtitles? Come on. I don't think I can yet. I don't think I can yet, actually. Actually, it won't be, because um, the next time I'm in the ring with my partner, I don't know when that will be, but the next time I defend my title will be at SummerSlam in a triple threat match. I remember that clearly. It's a big triple threat match at SummerSlam between all the brand's champions, Mr. McMahon, Vince McMahon, whatever the fuck you want to call him. We'll announce that in the coming weeks. Um, but that's going to do it for this part. Like I said... Randy Orton did not carry me in this one. I carried his ass in this whole match. So fuck that guy.